What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to mostly be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. Going over this recent clip that came out of Nev Campbell on Entertainment Tonight Canada. Where her energy and just her choice of words got a lot of people speculating, me included. And how it could relate to what has been coming out about Scream 7. But before I dive into that, I do want to start off with this bit of news about Chucky Season 3. Now, tomorrow night could be something, could be nothing. But I did see a lot of you talking about it over on Twitter, so I thought it would be worth getting everybody else aware of this if you want to tune into it to catch it. But I've never seen something like this. There's a scheduling on Sci-Fi for two minutes of a Chucky press conference. Now, if they're showing the clip that we got that announced the season still airing this October, why does that have to get its own designated time slot? It just seems it, it just seems a little bit bizarre. It could they very much so could be airing that, but there is the possibility that maybe we are getting a trailer of sorts or some other bit of new footage tomorrow night from this press conference. Because if you go onto your local sci-fi listings for cable, whatever you have, or if you just go to sci-fi schedule, Google it, and you go to tomorrow's date and go to 10 p.m., there is a slot for two minutes for Chucky press conference. Just a little bit of an intriguing thing that I noticed that I want to share with you guys if you want to tune in tomorrow night to see if this has anything to do with a trailer. Uh, it could be just them, again, re-airing that clip, but I just found it to be rather suspicious. There might be a strong chance they re-air it. There might be the possibility that they're not simply re-airing it. I just don't seem to think they would give it a whole time slot for two minutes. It just seems it's it's something that just seems worth tuning into to see if there might be more to it than just that initial announcement clip that we got telling us that season three would be coming. But diving into Scream 7. So today, if you were over on my Twitter, you saw me share this clip. Entertainment Tonight Canada sat down with Nev Campbell. She was sharing her enthusiasm and her appreciation for the fans at the Fan Expo event and all that kind of good stuff. She dived into, well, the interviewer then said, we miss Sydney. And then Nev kind of winked after, along with this statement, but she's like, I can't talk about that. Uh, and she's smiling about it when she's saying it. Not to say that she wasn't smiling when she was also saying she wasn't going to be in Scream 6. But it's just the body language to a lot of people is indicating that there's some truth to what I have already told you guys. She was in negotiations prior to these strikes. And also, from what I was told, while she didn't sign on then, it would appear that from other people who have heard different things that I didn't hear... The negotiations apparently went well, and now it's just kind of, of course, we're waiting for these strikes to end. So people are like, well, obviously she's not talking about it because of the strikes, but that's a given. It's not necessarily that nobody knows that the reason she can't talk about it is because of the strikes. We're thinking about these alter alternative reasons. An alternative reason on top of the strike is because she very much so was indeed about to sign the dotted line to reprise her role as Sydney Prescott, but she didn't get to do it because of the strikes that are still ongoing and seemingly have no end in sight. And her body language, again, that wink, even the interview, interviewer pointed out, she's like, oh, you can't talk about it, but you're winking. They just kind of share a laugh. It's like, okay, we, it's all but confirmed. She very much so, of course, could end up not being in Scream 7. I wouldn't really mind one way or another. If she's here, if she's not, I'm just looking forward to a quality Scream film. That's what my priority is when it comes to Scream movies right now. Uh, when I was growing up, hell yeah, it was all Sydney, 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 Sydney. Just as Jill said, stated at the end of Scream 4. I was all for just Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Being older and wiser, I'm just now concerned with something I think is more important when it comes to a movie and its overall presentation beyond just a character being involved in it. So her body language has everyone thinking, okay, she must be back, right? She very much so could be back. But apparently, again, like I was told, she didn't sign anything when the strikes started. However, she also could have, again, signed prior to the strikes. Just because I was told she didn't sign doesn't mean that that's actually what went on. She very much so could have signed. And the other reason she cannot talk about it is because not only because of these strikes, but because she signed the dotted line. And that's another reason on top of a strike why you can't talk about it. 
it's no different than when strikes aren't happening. If there's something in your contract that would not allow you to talk about it, you're not going to talk about it even if a strike is going on or not. That's another important thing to remember. I just wanted to point that out to people. And I will re again reiterate, while that clip, it's fun to get excited about that. Maybe she is back. Here's the thing, though. I'm now just in a mindset because of what I knew about her utilization in Scream 6. I won't necessarily be too overly excited until I get an understanding of if we're going to see something that is acceptable for the character. I get that a lot of people do not like her usage in Scream 5. I get that and I can understand where you're coming from. However, given the narrative decisions they decided to make, her usage in Scream 5 would have been, or is anyway, it's a whole lot better than what apparently was being cooked up for her just forcing herself back into the scenario or back into the floodgates again, back into this turmoil again in Scream 6. Her little one and done, I'm going to come and be a captain, save a hole <laughs> in Scream 5. That is fine given the trajectory of what they were doing and how they used Dewey and everything else that kind of lined up and was being set up the minute they had their very first conversation. How they got Sydney back, wonderfully done. I commend them for that. However, going into Scream 7, I'm concerned because of what I knew was going to happen in Scream 6. I just don't want to see her brought back because they're like, hey, you know what? We messed up last time. Let's get you in here so we can sell some tickets, get the fans to come out and watch you. And then, you know what? We're not really going to cook you up anything. We're going to Ellen bursting your ass into the movie. I don't need that for Sidney Prescott. I know a lot of you can agree. If Nev is back, that's one half of a reason to get excited. If you're someone who I would argue is going to be reasonable. If you are not going to fulfill the other half, then I would argue that the first half was not needed. If I get a Scream 7 and Sidney Prescott is squandered, underutilized, or in some capacity just here to kind of help give the new characters you want to focus on some type of importance rather than you writing compelling stories for said new characters and you're trying to use her as a crutch for these newbies, no, that's not acceptable. I will not praise that and I will not consider that a positive outing for Sydney Prescott, I will also say that Nev Campbell should have sat it out. So I hope if she is coming back, they have cooked up something that is important. It can help the character just have some significance in her presence on screen and not just her being here because, hey, we need you to help us feel filling these asses in these seats. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.